What are you looking for, a violin? Move along. All right, already. Hey, uh, what if we start jumping out of planes? A gung-ho boy. Son, I'll tell you, you brush up on, say, about eight weeks of basic training, then you can talk to Geronimo. Move! Maybe Mama made me bring too much stuff, huh? Kind of gets in the way. Well, it is all right to bring my guitar, ain't it? There's always got to be one in every group. Move along, Elvis. No, my name ain't Elvis. It's Eddie. Eddie Slocum. I'm going into the Airborne. That's nice. I bet Mommy is real proud of you. Would you mind walking over and getting in the bus? Oh, no, I don't mind. He doesn't mind. Isn't that nice? He's a nice boy. Move! Close it up.
then Cat's on the move. You hear what they were saying, country? If I die in the old drop zone, wrap me up and send me home. <laughs> what about that, country? Hey, country. Do a lot of kidding around here. Don't they? Boy, you better get back on that farm. <laughs> You're all mine. At the end of that time, the men among you will become troopers. The boys will be gone. Now, we do things different here than the ground pounders do. An airborne soldier sounds off when he has anything to say. And when he moves, he moves on the double. When dismissed, he sounds off with airborne. And when told to do something, an airborne soldier will do it immediately, if not sooner. When you answer an instructor, it's sergeant. I expect a lot of spirit. Drive and high spree de corps. I expect you to be proud of the airborne. Reflect the credit in your appearance, stamina, actions, and attitude. I show no favoritism. I want to see the kind of stuff you're made of. And so far, you have showed me absolutely nothing. Now, how do we sound off? Airborne! Sergeant! Sergeant! Soon! Sergeant White, show these legs their quarters. Secure your equipment! <laughs> Left face! All right! All right! Ball out, soldier. What's your name? Eddie Slocum, sir. I mean, Sergeant. Are you planning a vacation or are you here for jump school? Jump school, sir. Sergeant? When you square away your gear, keep in mind that we have inspection in the morning and every morning. Glad you can make it, soldier. Sergeant White, give me a three-man detail. All right, I want three volunteers. Great right voice, yeah? All right, in the front leading rest position and get 10 push-ups. Count them out. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And one for the airborne. Airborne! You are all volunteers or you wouldn't be here. Now, three men. Everyone, 
cats are too much. Yeah, this place is really chicken. My brother thinks they had a rough in the Marine Corps. 82. 82nd. I'm 82nd all the way, huh, Mouse? Oh, come on, man. I wonder how many guys are going to be around here to put on their third strike. Gee, I don't think those sergeants like me. Oh, what's the matter, country? The mean old sergeant's giving you a hard time. I don't know. Sergeants and me, we just don't get along. Well, they're just trying to shake loose some of that hay, country. I'm glad I don't have hay fever. <laughs> Get it, Mouse? Hay fever! <laughs> oh, man, that hurts. All right, on the double. your appetite. Remove your headgear. Place it in front of your right foot. Hey. Hey. Double time. An airborne soldier does not anticipate a command. Yes, sir. I mean, no, I mean, Sergeant. Fall in, soldier. Yes, Sergeant. Your minds must be mentally alert as your bodies are strong. Your life may well depend on one or both. Going home, ain't no use of going home. Straight legs got my gal and gone. Straight legs got my gal and gone. Sound off, air horn. Sound off, air horn. Break it on down. A I R E O R. Hey, see anybody hungry? Yes, yes I heard it. G I bull and G I gray. G I bull and G I gray. Sergeant White, take the men to chop. This face! Forward! High! Double time! High! Platoon! Hold! Every man get four! Oh, the devil smoke him! Said, this is where they separate the men from the boys. Yeah, man. Oh, this is where they separate the men from the boys. Oh, watch it, man. One of these days, Mouse. You don't have attention, layman. Hey, you found a home, country? Hey, Rock. Why do you think you joined the army? This old lady couldn't afford to feed him. Right, country? Oh, shucks. I don't eat that much, Rocky. Oh, it's just that chowhound tapeworm, ain't it, country? I don't have no tapeworm, Mouse. I just heard we got the toughest sergeant in jump school, Rocky. They call him Ben Hur. Is everybody happy? 
good. I like happy people. <laughs> Man, that cat is a real clown. Well, just wait till Ben Hur finds out that he has the only GI in the army that was mistaken for a Boy Scout. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, cut it out. It just so happens the old woman never saw a soldier before. Man, this cat is too much. Hey, Mouse, what would you do if Cat and Man wasn't in the English language? <laughs> <laughs> Funny. Fun. The fellow's still kid me a little. That don't worry me none. Jump school is real tough. This is where they separate the men from the boys. You're gonna be proud of me, Ma. I'll be home in three weeks, and then you'll be talking to Trooper Slocum. Love, Eddie. P.S. Tell Pa hello, and Ellie too. And quit worrying about me getting enough to eat. Has Uncle Charlie moved to Wisconsin yet? Hey, Mouse, how do you spell Wisconsin? Say what? How do you spell Wisconsin? Oh, man, don't you know nothing? Well, I know lots of things, but... I can't spell too good. Well, you spell it just like it sounds. Wisconsin. W-E-S-T-K-O-N-S-O-N. -S -S now, quit bugging me, man. Hey, Moss, that don't look right. Well, why do you keep bugging me, man? Can't you see I'm trying to concentrate? Well, you're just looking at pictures of girls. That don't take no concentrating. Man. When you look at these kind of pictures, you got to do a little thinking. Or you just ain't human. Now, when you look at this redhead, you see it'll make you do a little concentrating? About what? Oh, man, you sick. Look, country, there are other things in the world besides pigs and chickens. Oh, shucks. I've been out with girls. Oh, what do you do when you take a broad out? Oh, well, we, we talk. Huh? About what, cat? Oh, about the 4-H club and... Yeah, what? Say what? What's that? Hmm? Well, the 4-H club, that's agricultural products, like, like growing a crop or caring for a, a sow and a litter of pigs or running and maintaining tractors and other farm machinery. Ooh. That sounds real exciting. Uh, do you hold your hands when you're talking to them? Shucks. Sometimes I do more than just hold their hands. Like what, Cat? Sometimes I even kiss them. Ooh. You're a real swinger, ain't you? Hey, Moss, is there something wrong with your eye? <laughs> <laughs> hey, country, tell Moss about your girlfriend. Oh, you mean Ellie Ketchum? Ellie Ketchum? <laughs> <laughs> do you play a guitar, to Ellie? Well, yeah, sometimes I do. <laughs> it figures, man. It figures. What do you play? Old McDonald had a farm? Farm <laughs> <laughs> chicks did that hip jazz, man. No country. She sure is. Well, with that kind of name, she's got to be nice. Yeah, what does she look like, man? Well, she... Well, I kind of wish I had a picture of her, but, but since I'm doing it, it's kind of hard to tell you what she looks like. Yeah. See, but... Well, she ain't no fancy look like them there in that dirty magazine. What's dirty about this magazine? Well, them girls, they hardly got any clothes on. Mouse, how can you sit there and look at them girls with hardly no clothes on? It's a struggle, man. It's a struggle. Well, when you get done, you let me do a little struggling. <laughs> oh, come on, man. What do you think I am, a punching bag? Lights out. I once had a hound named Ellie, and she used to snore like a bullfrog. I once had a dog named Ellie, and she used to bark like a hound. <laughs> Keep 
feet together, tell a Keep your eyes on the demonstrator, layman. Get that butt down, Slocum. Hit that hand every time. Yes, sir. Not sir, sergeant. Yes, sir. Position of attention. Who? The mission of a paratrooper is to land in such a condition that will enable him to take his objective. Be mentally alert, and you won't get hurt. 86, you're not mentally alert. Get out there and get 10. On the double. 94, you don't sleep on the government's time. You sleep on your own time. Get out there and get 10. Demonstrator, pulls. Feet together, knees bent, and jump straight away from the platform. You must land on all contact points. The balls of your feet, your calf, your thigh, your buttocks, and your push-up muscle. Roster 86, Grandma was slow, but she was a leg. Get 10! <laughs> Where you five men think it's so funny? Get out of there and get 10! On your feet! Let's move! On the double! Keep them eyeballs front and center. Get 10! That's the way they weed out the eight ball. 82, get 10. Come on! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here at the mock door, you must master the nine jump command. Proper door positions and proper body position. Stand up! Knees bent back straight, heading out to the front. On the command, go up and out. Assume a good tight body position. Land with your feet and knees together. Go. 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. It takes four seconds for that main to open 81. Recover and get 10 squat jumps. Yes, sir. Wipe that grin off 82. Go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Uncover. You're not mentally alert, 82. Get 10. Yes, Sergeant. Go. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. Look at the big man, would you? What'd Rocky do wrong? Then I said uncover, not recover. You gotta watch these cats, man. Big Benner thinks he's so tough. I'd like to meet him out in the street sometime. Sure, Rocky, sure. This is where they separate the men from the boys. This is what they call suspended agony, man. I got legs drop, 81. Shares and robots don't sell. Power platform! You must learn to steer your canopy to avoid obstacles in the air and on the ground. 81, slip to your right. Watch your body position. 87, keep your feet and knees together. If my shoe don't open wide, if my shoe don't open wide. Man, did that Ben Hur ever slow up? By my side. Tell Farrell, get out of here. I got another one by my side. Airborne. Airborne. All the way. All the way. All the way. All the way. Fine, fine. Doesn't mother's heart good to have such 
manly spirited all American boys around. Hey, you guys, we can put another stripe on now. Big deal. Yeah, goody. Just think, boys, no Ben Hur or Mother Superior tomorrow. Big deal. A one day pass in three weeks. Yeah? Well, this highly spirited all American boy is going to take a shower. Then he hopes he'll meet a highly spirited all American girl at the dance tonight. Get what I mean, country? Oh, sure. Yeah, back in Chicago, we put these service club broads in a zoo. They say these North Carolina chicks are the boss, man. you going to the dance? No, I don't think so, Mouse. Well, there's bound to be some squares there, man. Oh, I just don't want to go. What's the matter, country? You getting homesick? No. Oh, man, you make the scene. Yeah, I know. Good for laughs. You're not going to let a little ride and get you out of your country? Little? I don't mind it so much around the fellas. Gosh, on the girls, it embarrasses me. Comes the dawn. You get showered, and you go to the dance. You might even find a cute little square there that likes to talk about the pigs and the chickens. And... She wouldn't smile on that doorknob over there, you know. Ooh there she is. All by herself. Just wait for the old mouse. Mm -mm. This ain't yours, B, Roscoe.
are you? Just fine. And you? Just fine. Mind if I come over and join you? Not at all. Shucks, ain't no use of talking across a couple tables when you can talk at the same one. What's your name? Eddie Slocum. What's yours? Jimmy May. Uh, do you come to these dances all the time? This is the first one. Oh. Where are you from, Eddie? I'm from Mill Creek. That's a small town in Indiana, near La Porte. La Porte? Well, that's right near Michigan City. Michigan City? That's not too far from Chicago. Oh, well, I've heard of Chicago. Oh, that's where I'm from, right near Chicago. Well, I'm from a little farm town. You are? Aberdeen. It's just a few miles from the base. I'll be doggone. You look awful young to be in the service. Oh, I'm 18. So am I. Gee, we're the same age. How does it feel to jump out of an airplane, Eddie? Well, we don't get a jump till the last week. Gosh, I sure would be scared to have to jump out of an airplane way up in the air. You're a girl, Jenny Mae. You're supposed to be afraid of things like that. Pretty music, isn't it? it sure is. Would you like to dance? I ain't too good at dance. Oh, I bet you're a real good dancer. Oh, no, I ain't. Well, what gives, man? 
Kind of cutting in on country, ain't you? Well, I don't see his name on her. Well, you told me in the shower you'd lay off him tonight. Since when have you become big brother? Since I think it's about time we uh, give the kid a break, huh? Go see the chef. Listen, Ron. That little chick ain't your speed, man. Get your paws off me, Mouse. Now get lost before I step on you. Listen. Let's go take a little walk, Mouse. Oh. Wait a minute, Rocky. I, I don't want to fight. Uh, I'm a lover. I'm a lover. I'm a fighter. You're yellow, Mouse. chick you were dancing with. She digs you, man. She was asking all about you. She thinks you the most. Really? Yeah. She gave Rocky the brush right after you got the breeze. Really? Gee, oh, I'll bet that made Rocky mad. Oh, yeah, man. Big mountain. All talk. Nothing. You're not kidding me along, are you, Mouse? No, man. This is for real. She, uh... She works at uh, um, McCrummins uh, drugstore in some little burg. Aberdeen? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Now, she uh, only works till noon on Saturdays. That's the only day you can get off the post, you know, tomorrow. So, uh, get with it, man. And don't you rouse me up now, because I'll put you in solid. Gee, thanks, Mouse. Forget it. She really likes me, huh? Oh, now, get off my back, man. Uh, uh, I'll do this big breakfast from. I don't want to lose you. Honey, 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 honey. Thanks, mister. Glad to do it, neighbor. Is it good? 
Mmm, that's real good. Mouse is a good friend of yours. Oh, he's my buddy. Mouse sure is a funny nickname. Sure is. I know how we got the name Mouse, too, but I can't tell why. Oh, it can't be all that bad. Tell me. All right. Well, Mousy, he says there's two kinds of girls in the world. There's them that's looking for a husband and them that's just looking. And he says if you don't want to get caught in a trap, well, you got to learn how to sniff them out. And that's why they call him Mouse, because he's such a good sniffer. Gosh, Jenny, may you sure make a fella feel kind of funny. Very well, if I'm going to make you feel funny. I just won't look at you anymore. Well, shucks, Jenny Me, I, I didn't mean it that way. I know you don't. People stare at me sometimes, and, well, I feel funny, too. Gosh, you can hardly blame them for staring at you. You're so darn pretty and all. Do you really think so, Eddie? Oh, I sure do. Gee, you're about the prettiest girl I've ever seen in a farm town. I mean, any town. Gosh, Jenny Me, you're just out and out pretty. I think you're nice, too, Eddie. Shucks. There I go getting nervous again. Eddie? I, uh, I get off work at 12 o'clock. Would you like to walk me home? Sure. See over there, Eddie? Yeah? That's my dream world. Dream world? I know it sounds silly, but well, that's what it is. Would you like to see it? Sure. I've never seen a dream world before. Our farm is just over there. And away out there is my dream world. Boy, it sure is pretty. Whenever I have little problems, and, well, sometimes big ones, I just come out here and look over my dream world. I don't know how, but well, somehow it always answers them. Jenny, me, you're not trying to tell me something out there talks back to you, are you? Oh, no. Nothing like that. I just look and think, and, well, pretty soon my problems go away. Gee, yeah. I wish I could get rid of my problems that easy. Do you have a girl back home? Uh, not what you call steady. Is she pretty? Oh, she's not as pretty as you are. She's a real nice girl. You kind of remind me of her. Do I, Eddie? Yeah, you even talk something like her. You must like her an awful lot. No, we never really got serious or anything. We mostly go to 4-H meetings and stuff. Shucks. Never even did talk about kissing. Kissing is something that doesn't have to be talked about, Eddie. It's something, well, something that just happens. Yeah, I know, but gosh, a lot of times I'd like to kiss a girl, but well, they might think I'm getting fresh or something. Eddie? Yeah? Would you like to kiss me? Would you? Sure. Gosh, I, I was wanting to kiss you the first time I saw you. Well? What oh, darn old fly keeps getting in the way. Shucks, Jenny, me up. I hope you don't think I was getting fresh. No. See over there, Eddie? That's Fort Bragg. You can see the airplanes from here. Gosh, you'll be able to see me. Soon you'll be flowing gently down and out of sight. Be going new places and meeting new people. Fort Bragg will, Fort Bragg will be a memory. 
I will ask. That's the reason I wanted you to kiss me, Eddie. You'd be a part of my dream world. Part of my memory. Gosh, you make me feel real important, like you want to remember me in your dream world. Come on, Eddie. I want you to meet my mom and dad. We're having southern fried chicken for supper. Do you like southern fried chicken? Oh, I sure do. Private Slocum, would you like having dinner with a little old North Carolina farm girl? I sure would. Some girl call up here for you. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I hear you got a girlfriend, Cutty. Hey, lover. Oh, cut it out, fellas. <laughs> hey, man, tell us what happened yesterday. Yeah, come on, tell us. Yeah, man, come on, tell us what happened. Oh, we talked some, and, and then she invited me up to supper, and I met her ma and pa. The routine, man, routine. Oh, well, then we had about the best southern fried chicken I ever did taste. And then her pa drove me to the bus station. Boy, did I have a good time. Well, what did you do? Oh, I just told you, Mouse. That's all? What do you mean, that's all? That's a lot. Well, did you kiss her goodnight? Of course I kissed her goodnight. And that ain't the only time I kissed her, either. Hooey! You getting to be a real lover, ain't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Country, you better give Rocky a few pointers. He tried all night to come on strong with that little chick. Oh, man, is his ego ever going to be deflated? All mouth, man. All mouth. All mouth, huh? Oh, like, man, you know, I didn't mean nothing by it, man. Well, we both know who's all mouth. Now, don't we, spaghetti face? Is it, since when, since when do you come up with this spaghetti face? Since now. Take it easy, Rocky. You don't have to get steamed up over nothing. Look, you shut up, Barnowski. Why don't you tell the boys what happened over at the service club, Mouse? Like, what are you trying to prove? How tough you are? Tell them. I asked you to give the kid a break. That's right. I was just giving the kid a break. Oh, yeah, sure you was, Rock. You'd better shut up, Erski. Anytime I lose out to a hick like that, that'll be the day. I could have had that broad any time if I wanted her. Don't call Jenny May a broad. So, all of a sudden, country is a tiger. Well, she ain't no broad. Well, how in the hell would you know? About the only thing you know about a broad is they have long hair. Shucks. Sometimes I even hold their hands. Sometimes I even kiss them. Oh, lay off the kid, Rocky. One more word out of you and I'm gonna launch you into ball. Remember that. Everybody feels sorry for the little cornball, huh? Let them learn about life the hard way like I had to. Nobody ever played big brother to me. I'd have take what I wanted. And if you didn't have the guts, you got pushed around. And that's the trouble with you, Hayseed. You've got no guts. And as a matter of fact, you are nothing but an idiot. And everybody knows it but you. Runs off and sucks like a little kid. Has to have somebody go get his girls for him. Why don't you go back to the farm in your 4-H club, Hayseed? Knock it off, Lamon. You calling the boy an idiot just because he comes from a farm? Farmers are stupid. Is that right? Well, I used to be a farmer. You calling me stupid? Just because a boy comes from a rural life doesn't make him stupid, by no means. Do any of you boys know what the 4-H's stand for? Tell them, Slocum. Well, they stand for head, heart, hands, and health. Now, every farm boy or girl that joins a 4-H club takes a pledge. Tell them, Slocum. My head to clear thinking, my heart to greater loyalty, my hands to better living for my club, my community, and my country. Now, that's one of the things you learn on the farm, Layman. Of course, they're just stupid farmers. Now, what do they teach you smart boys in the big city? Rocky, look, I like to get along with everybody. I like everybody to like me. Gosh, everybody knows I couldn't take a girl away from you. Gee, I, I ain't a good dancer like you. I ain't good looking like you. Look, I'd like you to be my buddy. 
Look, you'd better stay away from me, Hayseed. Far away. should not be treated lightly. The most important reaction to most of them is activate your reserve. You've been taught to slip and avoid other jumpers. But when you can't slip away, it's possible to bounce off the suspension lines using the spread eagle. If there's an entanglement, the most important thing is not to panic, but to climb down the suspension lines and ride it out together. The lower canopy may steal air from the higher one. So remember, if one should occur, don't panic. Stay calm or you might end up being embalmed. Your parade rest, soldier. Hit up! All the way, sir. Airborne. What story are these people, Sergeant Bennett? Refuse the tower, sir. Captain, I, uh... Just a second. When you walked down out of that tower, you walked out of the airborne. There's no room in the 82nd for quitters. 95, what are you looking at? Keep them eyes front and center. Take charge, Sergeant Bennett. All the way, sir. Airborne. Fred, rest. All right, sir. Airborne. All the right, way, sir. Airborne. All the right, way, sir. Airborne. And then we were over Normandy at less than 1,000 feet. It was pitch black. A jump master said, go. Out that door I went. Down in that deep emptiness, that black emptiness. I pulled definitely that big D. What's that, Sergeant White? That's a ripcord handle. Oh. That chute wouldn't open. I said, Whitey boy, looks like you had it. This is going to be terrible. And it was terrible. Well, what happened? I died. Too bad you boys were born too late to be patriots. Oh, man, that cat's a clown. Oh, yeah, that's how he got his purple heart. He told us. 93 didn't make it. No guts. We'll be on that tower tomorrow. There'll be more quitters. Mail call. Gorp list. Pool. Here. Barnhart. Here. Telefero. Telefero. Slogan. Here. Wells. Here. Smith. Oh, fatal. Man. Don't let ever give up.
received a nice letter from your mother yesterday. It was quite a surprise. And a very pleasant one, I may add. Your mother is very sweet, Eddie. She's so proud of you. And naturally, so am I. our little goof jumper men because I don't want to see any of you making jumps like that. Now here is where we separate the men from the boys. When you walk up into that tower, the men will jump out, the boys walk back down. Here you will assume the correct body position while falling through space and practice the reserve for the use of a malfunction. Two, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Uncover. Please spin back three. Hit nice to the front of the command. Go leap up and out. What's number six four, Sergeant? Two. One thousand, three thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Two. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Two. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Two. One thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand. Number 
the number. 81, Sergeant. Go. There's nothing wrong with fear, 81, unless you give in to it. Go. Hey, just think, Mouse, tomorrow it's for real. Next weekend, you're going to see the mouse heading north with them wings and that three-day pass to the free world. So get the women and the kids off the streets. Now, ain't this sweet? Dear Jenny May, how are you? I am fine. Oh, you got talent, Hayseed. Hey, give me my letter back. I read your letter over and over, and I'm going to carry it next to my heart when I jump from the plane. <laughs> You're not supposed to read other people's mail. I'll give it back. Sure. What are you going to tell this little uh, Jenny May when you don't jump from the plane tomorrow, Hayseed? Don't worry. I'll jump. Well, that I got to see. You'll see it, all right. Don't you think it's about time you lay off the kid? Yeah, man, what is it with you anyhow? Every time you turn around, you're slamming the kid. And if it ain't him, it's somebody else, and we're getting just a little tired of it. You used to be a pretty good cat at one time. Ah, uh, that's before he started holding a grudge against the kid. Anybody holding a grudge over something like you are, well, talk about take it. You sure can't. Yeah, man. I can take anything, see? This is a way out world when you haven't got any friends, Rocky. I don't need your kind of friends. Mama's boys, all of you. Not one of you has any guts. You talk about guts. There's not one man in this outfit that don't hate yours. Come on, I'll take you all on. What's going on here? I ask a question, I expect an answer. I thought it took guts to be a paratrooper. Why did you volunteer for the airborne, Layman? You really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. A punk bet me I didn't have the guts to jump out of a plane. And when I get back to Chicago... You really show him, won't you? Yeah. Him and a few others, too. You, Barnarski? I thought it would be exciting. You, Slocum? Well, I guess I want to be like my Uncle Charlie. He was a paratrooper. Everybody in the family was so proud of him and all. You want to be like your uncle? Yes, sir. How about you, Telefero? I was getting drafted anyway, and they pay extra for jumping, so... So you volunteered for the Airborne? Here, ain't I? Now look, there's more to the airborne than just jumping out of planes. Sure, it takes guts. It also takes spirit, teamwork, and courage. Without all four, you're no good to the airborne. What do you think we're training you for, to fight with a street gang? Or maybe you think the training we're giving you is all nonsense. That all you have to do is to make five jumps and you're an airborne soldier. Well, let me tell you, Legs. It's one thing to make a drop in ideal weather conditions on a smooth drop zone with instructors to guide every move you make. And it's another thing to drop 50 miles behind the enemy lines, into hot wires, into the drink, or into machine gun emplacements. There's no instructors there to guide you if you get into any trouble. There's only two kind of people on that ground. People that's waiting to put a bullet in you and the men you jump with. And either you work as a team or you don't last long. There's no room for eight balls. Or prima donnas. Or weaklings. When your life depends on your buddy. And your very existence depending on your coordination. An airborne soldier respects his fellow man with no exceptions. That comradeship must be molded right here in jump school. Now that's the jump from boy to man. Either you'll get with it or you'll get out of it. That I promise you. Do you 
you're being given the best. To benefit from the mistakes the men before you learned the hard way. The men that made the Airborne what it is today. An outfit to be proud of. Damn proud of. And if you people think Sergeant Benner just blowing smoke up your back, I want every one of you to walk over to that museum. Take a look at the record of the 82nd. Sicily, Normandy, Holland. And you come back, Layman, you tell the boys how much guts you got. Shooters, devils in baggy pants. They're less than 100 meters from my outpost. I can't sleep at night. They pop up from nowhere, and we never know when or how they will strike next. It seems like the black-hearted devils are everywhere. This is found on the diary of a German officer who opposed the 504 on the Enzio beachhead. Sergeant Leonard A. Funk was the Living Medal of Honor of the 82nd Airborne Division, World War II. We're proud to be a member of the 82nd Airborne Division. We are ready to go anywhere, anytime, anyplace.
number two is four minutes from DZ. Each of you have been assigned drop numbers. When you jump, be alert and listen for ground instruction. Lane number one now over DZ. Get out of those suspensions! 
engine lines! It's Layman. Layman! Layman, get out of those suspension lines! You okay, Rocky boy? Did you break anything? No. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm okay. You should have slipped away. Didn't you hear Ben Hur? I didn't hear anything. I said you had no guts, country. Go on. Good and hard. Right here. Man, you had us worried. You guys were. We're really worried about me. About me? That's, that's really something. You guys are the greatest. The greatest country. Yes, Sergeant. How about you, Slocum? Yes, Sergeant. Care to have dinner with a little old North Carolina farm girl? Trooper Slocum? Not a North Carolina farm girl. Trooper Slocum's girl. Happy. I like happy people. Sergeant! Sergeant! Oh. 